People are learning to TIG weld and they are changing their lives with it. This student had no prior experience with welding at all and he is now making over $10,000 a month with his own welding business. Let's look at how he did it and how you can do it too. Okay, this guy here, this is Tom. Tom signed up to work with me in my online TIG welding program and he enrolled in my aluminum TIG welding program first. But he did use one special thing that helped him get to a level that most people don't get to. But hang tight, I'll tell you about that in a few minutes here. Now, he originally wanted to learn to TIG weld because he had ambitions and some really great ideas of projects that he wanted to make. He didn't want to buy stuff. He basically wanted to make custom stuff that he wanted and he wanted to be able to do it himself and not have to pay somebody else to do it for him. Does that sound familiar? Definitely does to me. He didn't have time to go to school for welding. He's a busy guy, but he was really focused and really motivated to get good at TIG welding. So if you have got ambitions to learn for yourself or some projects that perhaps you wanna get done, you're not alone out there. Now, the aluminum TIG welding program was a pivotal start. We started with the absolute basics. Now, this stuff does seem very boring for sure, but honestly, it is some of the most crucial stuff to learn at the beginning of this program. Especially somebody who's a beginner or a little to no experience with TIG welding at all. This stuff is very important to learn first, and it's the kind of stuff that most people skip over when they first start learning. It was in these exercises here that we started to really learn how to understand and control heat input, really learn to work what he preferred and how to control as far as travel speed. And at this point here, we are taking a look after each pass because the most important thing that we learn at this part of the program is how to break down and understand your own work to get feedback. Now, starting out with these exercises here, Tom ate these lessons up. When we started to work in the exercises where we were properly adding and using filler material, then working our way into our first joints, some of the more advanced joints in the curriculum, and then putting all the puzzle pieces together of everything that he learned for the final project in the program. Tom did really well with learning aluminum TIG welding in my program, but something started to happen now. As he started to get good at it, he started to get more ideas of projects that he wanted to do. Check this out right here, you're gonna love this. Tom rides a motorcycle and now he wanted to start building and fabricating some custom parts for it. He and his dad also work on some really awesome cars together. And of course, once he started to understand fabrication and welding a little bit more, he got more ideas for exhaust stuff for that. So Tom wanted to enroll in my stainless steel program to learn how to do chromoly, carbon steel, and whatever he wanted from this point on. So again, we got to work. He enrolled in my stainless program this time, but here is why this program really helped him to start work towards some of his goals. In the stainless steel program, we start to work on way thinner material. And this is a great way to work yourself into some thin wall stainless steel parts like exhaust or something like that. The stainless program started to take him way deeper into working with thinner material. And this is a great way to work your way into some thin wall stuff for exhaust projects. And when we got into it, he did super well. He was doing really well with the stainless stuff and he was even doubling back to practice on his aluminum so he was staying fresh with that as well. And all the results of him practicing smart were starting to pay off. He was doing some small projects just for fun to build consistency. At the same time, he was learning even more about his machine as he did so. And then he started to work on some of the serious stuff. Tom obviously wanted to start learning how to back purge if he was gonna work on stainless pipe. He was eventually then practicing with real stainless steel joints. And again, this is all stuff that he learned in the stainless steel program with me. And by the way, these programs are in the description below. You can learn the exact same stuff that he did, start with some plate, learn some simple stuff on that, and then work your way into more advanced stuff. With this stuff here, he started to work on getting consistent heat and bead control. Look at some of the heat affected zones on these ones. Man, oh man, narrow heat focus and consistent and clean results on the backside as well. And then he started working on dissimilar plate thicknesses. Look at this here, thicker machine pieces, meeting up perfectly with the thin pipe that we had worked on up to that point, combined with gas volume coverage on both sides of the joints. By this point here, Tom had been TIG welding for a period of only months, not years. And then this is when things got real. After all this practice, Tom now wanted to get certified. No more welding with no pressure, time to put all of his hard work on the line and walk the walk. He signed up for legitimate certification, he got his testing dates, and we got to work. He went over all of the stuff that we learned in the program at a crazy level at this point. And he went for it on his testing days, and guess what? My guy crushed it. Yep, legit certification, all on his own, and then guess what? He did it again, and again until he was literally filling up a trophy case with certifications. Now, spoiler alert, Tom started a welding business that is now making serious money. 
but it's all come from one thing that he used and it's something that not a lot of people use. So here's a point in the story where we need to stop and realize something that I did not tell you earlier in the story. Believe it or not, Tom was not talented with welding at all. He was not a student who naturally got everything that he needed in a lesson right away at all. He struggled with stuff. He got frustrated. He would get discouraged and have practice sessions where things did not go his way. But here's the one thing that makes someone like Tom stand out. He had the attitude that because he was not naturally talented, he would have to work harder. He was going to have to practice with more focus and stay true and focused on the goals he wanted to achieve. And most of all, no matter what started to happen as far as success or failure, not give up. One day after practice, we were texting a little bit. He was having a pretty frustrating day. His practice did not go well. And obviously he was pretty bummed out, but here's what he said right here. I'm not talented and I know it, but I do know that I can outwork any lack of talent. So that's my plan of how I'm going to learn anything I want. <laughs> oh, excuse me? Did you catch all that? As an instructor, I might as well have been taking notes from him all of a sudden. Now also, in case you're new to the channel, you're not familiar with me, I was not talented when I first started either. As a matter of fact, when I started to learn how to TIG weld back in the day, I sucked. Yet over the years, look at what I accomplished with TIG welding by staying true to my goals, refusing to quit, and staying obsessed with wanting to learn how to TIG weld. All from the attitude basically that I could watch somebody do it and then go off and practice in private and try and outwork anybody on my own. I told you I was obsessed when I started and Tom was the same. So how can you learn these things as well? Whether you're wanting to learn for fun or making more money, it's all about your attitude as well as proper training. Whether it's from one of my programs that I offer on my website, going to school, something like that, getting actual training on a job site, whatever you choose, I don't care. Having proper training is something that helps out a lot. I'm not saying that you can't learn on your own. However, having proper training is something that helps speed up the process a lot. Welding practice is definitely more about practicing quality, not quantity. Getting training on how to properly start and then how to properly break down and understand your own work and what you need to learn and achieve from each step along the way before you move on to the next stage of whatever joint or exercise you want to learn. And that's only part of the equation. You need to have the attitude of a student. I have worked with welding students who have been fantastic welders with other welding processes. I've seen firsthand that the ones that drop the expectations, drop any attitude and ego that they may have and just start over and be beginners all over again. These are the students that go far with learning how to TIG weld. Attitude is absolutely everything and I believe that wholeheartedly with everything that you do in life. Again, like I said, whether you wanna learn for fun or hobbies or something like that, or perhaps working your way to starting your own business, making money with it, you can have a lot of fun learning to TIG weld and you can do whatever you want with it. So check this out, this is where Tom is now. He started a company where they are building trailers now. These trailers are incredible. He also figured out how to build and start a company making motorcycle stands. This is a project that he basically fabbed up and engineered by himself over and over until he found something that worked well. And now that he's figured out how to build them well, he's too busy for his own good. He has actually had to go out and hire people to help him. He's working out deals and contracts where he's gonna be cranking out multiple bike stands and multiple trailers each month. And as far as money that somebody could make doing this, honestly, at this point, the sky is the limit. I've also talked about this with other students that I've worked with as well. And yes, Tom is not the only person to do this working with me. If you wanna make some serious money with TIG welding, you need to come up with a business idea that is big, something ambitious, something that's a specialty in an industry. Trailers, truck accessories, stuff like that, car or automotive specialty stuff. This is where having a big imagination is gonna help you get a better run at stuff in this industry. Again, like I said, if you can remove barriers and learn to dream big, don't take no for an answer or any kind of lack of talent or anything like that. Like I said, the sky is the limit. When Tom started, he was just like me when I started, or maybe even you too. Through all the hard work that he put in, being nervous about signing up for certification, having setbacks along the way, damn it, failed that one, boo. Getting back to work, practicing again, fuck yeah, passed it. And of course, along the way, celebrating each win. Ric Flair, woo! Tom is now calling his own shots and operating a welding business that is bringing in well over $10,000 a month. 
And like we talked about, this was a dude who had no welding experience before this. It certainly wasn't talent, he was obsessed. So if you are watching this and you have no previous welding experience, can you do the same? Yes, absolutely you can. If you have the same attitude that Tom does, whether you're in a class learning with others around you or in my online program learning at home or something like that, don't pay attention to how other people are doing while they are learning. You may see some people going along the way doing way better, learning way faster, this means nothing. And here's the other cool thing about Tom is not only is he now using this to make money, he's using his skill of welding to do random acts of kindness for others as well. Fixing stuff that's broken for friends, fixing or making and fabricating things for his friends' trucks, building welding carts, not charging any money for it, doing whatever he wants. You can do the same and this is something that I do a lot of the time on my channel. You have an opportunity now with this skill to do good for others. Now, as far as starting a business and making money doing it, to be honest, this is kind of easier than you might think. There's definitely a lot more planning and being creative that's involved, and the guts to do it definitely takes some balls. But when you look at it from a distance, welding helps so many people. Whether you're looking to start up a little side hustle that you can help people fix stuff that they may need fixed, or doing some serious projects to reach some bigger goals, things can absolutely pay off for you in a massive way, either with the enjoyment that you have while you're learning to TIG weld or with making money doing it. Now, after all of this, what more do you have to see? Do you wanna learn? And yes, I'm talking to you. I've got free lessons on my website that will teach you how to do it. Go enroll in a class right now and learn and have a blast welding. I'm Dusty James, Phil and Chill, we'll talk soon, peace.